So this is going to be a super basic learn to code video. If you've been looking for a video online about learning to program and uh, you've been finding all these complex videos where it's totally confusing and the person teaching is like already like assuming that you know you took computer science, this is going to be a really basic learn to code video just to set expectations. If that's what you're looking for, you found it. And if it's not what you're looking for, you can go somewhere else. <laughs> so we know what this video is going to be about. So super basic learn to code, but we're going to be thorough and we're going to have a good time. And you're going to be learning the best programming language you can learn right now today, which is the Go programming language. Why is the Go programming language the best programming language to learn today? Because it has amazing credentials. Amazing credentials. It was created by Google. And, and Google hired some luminaries in computer science, Rob Pike, Ken Thompson, Robert Gressmer, to create this language. And these are some of the same gentlemen who helped create the C programming language, the Unix operating system, and UTF-8, which is the world's most popular encoding scheme. And if that means nothing to you, that's fine, because we're at the beginning video. But what you should know about that is this language was created by people who knew what was up. They knew what was up when it came to computers. So they created the best programming language the world has ever seen. It is now the highest pay paying programming language in America to know. And it will do for you what you need to get done, like web applications, server side APIs, right? Like all that stuff, you could do it with Go. It's a great language to know. I've taught a lot of people how to use this language. I love this language. It's fun. It's easy. It's it's efficient in execution, it's efficient in compilation, you don't need to worry about what that means, and it's also ease of programming. Those are the three things they wanted to realize when they built this language, ease of programming. So we're going to learn how to program. And right here, when you go to play.golang.org, we could start writing code, play.golang.org. It's the Go programming language, they call it Golang. Golang.org is the official website of the Go programming language. And uh, we have a little program here. What are we looking at? Right on this first line, we have something that says package main. Back in the day, when people first started learning the code, all of the code got put into one document, like one big long word processing document. And that was really confusing. Because it's like 800 pages long of code. And, and so people said, let's break it up. Let's break it up into procedures or give it more structured. They called it structured programming. And, uh, and to do that, they broke it up into different files. And the different files, when you needed it, you could say, oh, go get the stuff over in that file. And we call those different files in the Go programming language packages. And so here's the main package. We could create other packages as we got farther into the language. We could say here's package math, where we have code that helps us do math functions, right? Addition, subtraction. We could have here's package strings, where we have code that helps us like change all the text to uppercase, right? Or change the first letter of every word to uppercase for title case, right? So we could create different packages as we get further into it. All of your programs in Go, however, are going to start in package main. They start in package main. And, and, uh, and then they, they, they go into package main, and they go into func main, which is in package main. That is the entry point to your program. <laughs> package main, func main. That's the entry point to your program. That's where all of your code runs. So we're just getting a little introduction to what we're seeing on the screen. And then we're going to actually code, right? And, uh, and so package main, func main, what do we have here? From package func, and you can see package func is being imported here. So here's another package with some code. We are calling a function print line, which is going to print out hello playground. Hello playground. And so when I run this, run it prints out hello playground. So this is package. This is a function in that package. It takes in a string or takes in a value. I could even put in 42 and it would print that out. Hello playground 42, right? Just put a comma between the different things I'm passing into it. 
but that prints stuff out to the command line. And so change hello playground to your name. I'm going to put in my name here. There we go. And I run it. Change hello playground to your name. 